What's going on everyone? Steven here. In this video I'm going to show you how to give yourself infinite ammo in Cyberpunk 2077. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and attach Cheat Engine to the game. Okay, And after you've done that, what you can do is keep everything else the same. Now look at your ammo and you want to search for that value first. For me it's 21, so I'm going to do a first scan for that. And once that's done, I'm going to take a couple of shots. All right, now I'm going to search for 19. Now I'm going to take a couple more. Now I'm going to search for 17. All right, we are whittling it down nicely. So now I'm going to reload. All right, so presumably these all have something to do with ammo. So I'm going to click here, hold shift, click this last one, then click here to bring it all down into the address list. Now I'm going to click here, hold shift, and click about halfway down, hit the space bar. That's going to toggle all of these, all right, and hopefully lock our ammo. All right, so our ammo is locked. Uh, so now we need to find which one of these is controlling that. So let's untoggle three of those and see if it's one of these three. It is. Let's untoggle one more. Okay, and one more. Okay, so that one we just untoggled, since this started counting down, that's the one. We can unlock that. We can double click on here. Uh, that popped up behind Cyberpunk. And we can call this ammo just for our own <clears throat> uh, visual representation here. Okay, so now what we want to do is right click on this. We want to create a more permanent cheat uh, so that we won't have to do this every time. So you right-click and you say find out what writes to this address. And this is going to look for the instruction that writes a new value to the address whenever ammo has been used. All right. So this is the instruction. So you want to click Show Disassembler. All right. And this is going to bring up uh, in the subroutine here where this instruction is located. And what you could do is just right-click here and... Um, just basically knop out all of these so you could say replace with code that does nothing all right and we'll take some shots all right now let's try to reload okay reloading works fine see how we still get that countdown of the one even though the clip is still technically full we have that graphical thing changing it to 20 so let's go to restore with original code and what we can do is try to find some code related to preventing execution from coming down to this point here and then see what happens all right so we'll go up to the first jump related instruction that we see uh, and I'll do a future video explaining this more in depth in relation to this game but for now let's try changing this jump if not equal to always jump it's jumping to a nearby place here this is the location of this instruction in memory uh, offset 1A7E605. This will jump if not equal to 1A7E686. So if you keep reading down, we would get to 686, which, as you can see, if that jumps, that means it skips all of this code. All right, so I'm going to double click on that, change this to JMP, which means jump, always jump. All right, let's see what happens when we shoot. Okay, let's reload. Actually, let's change this back to J and E. Technically, it's still at 21, but there we go. All right, so now let's change this back to JMP. All right, now let's reload. All right. Get reloaded. We're at 21. We still have infinite ammo. So that's going to be the basis of our cheat. So now change that back to what its original instruction was all right so you'll click on this instruction and go tools auto assemble template AOB injection just click OK and then we can name this something like INF ammo for infinite ammo and this will be uh, <clears throat> the script that I leave in the table that I'll provide for download so you won't have to go do all this if you don't want to but all right so this is the instruction that we want to change so we can change it from JNE to JMP and if you want to know what the original instruction was, it's down here in a snapshot of code. 
right, where it says injecting here and done injecting, right? All right, so don't click execute, click file assigned to current cheat table. We can close this and then I will stop and close that and we can close this as well. All right, and you see in our address list we have a script here, all right? We can go ahead and delete all of these. We can double click here and call this infinite ammo. And now let's take some shots. Okay, now let's enable the script. Let's reload. All right, everything stays as we were testing it. All right, so there is infinite ammo, and I'm going to save this and provide it on my GitHub. So I'll have a link to that in the description below. And like I said, in a future video, I'll dive way more into explaining this stuff uh, far more in depth. But uh, I'm going to keep plugging away with some additional videos. So give this a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.